So then in terms of, of how you select your tags, I know you, you spoke about t- titles being the most important, descriptions being the second most important. In terms of the YouTube algorithm, what are you using for your keyword research? How are you determining how to, how to phrase your titles and how to uh, write out your descriptions and so forth? Mm, so through some trial and error, and I think it's different for everybody, which is why you have to go through that trial and error kind of process. But I do my keyword research using TubeBuddy. Like, I think there's a lot of good tools. VidIQ is also really good. There's a new one called Morning Fame, which is pretty dope too. Um, whatever tool you end up using, I just do keyword research using TubeBuddy. And um, I just try to like main, like main find different keywords and test them all the time. Like a couple months ago, I was testing German art actually performing well with my second channel using those keywords that move back again, just to kind of test it out and see if I can grow in that niche as well. But um, yeah, I would say just like, that's the most important thing that I do, finding those artists that have like a lot of traffic, but don't have a lot of competition in them. So a lot of people are looking or searching for that, but are posting content for that type of thing. Those are like the best keywords to go for. And then I just test those out. When I find one that gets more views than say my average that I want to stick to and work into my like overall like content schedule. So right now you're at kind of still the testing phase or are or have you decided on a niche yet where you're really focusing on one or two keywords and, and just hammering your, your channel with that? For my second channel with 1,800 subscribers, that's just for the type beats. I would say I'm definitely still in the infancy phase of testing. I know I've got the Jaden Smith keyword for sure, um, but I'm still testing and Wonder Girls good. Um, but like other keywords like Travis Scott, Don Tolliver, German artists like UFO, uh, 361, Kaleem, and just a bunch of other stuff that I'm working with. I'm just testing out a lot of stuff. Um, eventually I want to narrow it down to like that two to four kind of like niche artist that I only post content for, but it's definitely still in the, in a testing phase for sure.